you know why some calories make you fat while others don't? Well, let's journey into the world of calories, those tiny units of energy that power our bodies. It's quite the puzzle, isn't it? Here you can see they might all look similar, but they're not. Observe as we introduce some like that friend who always brings a thoughtful gift to your party. Let's call them good calories. These are from nutrient-rich foods loaded with vitamins, minerals and other essentials that keep our bodies going. Imagine fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins and fats. Then visualize the bad calories, similar to that unwelcome guest who shows up with nothing. These calories originate from foods high in sugar, unhealthy fats, and processed ingredients. They might give you a quick energy spike, but they lack any significant nutritional value and could result in weight gain and other health problems. So not all calories are created equal, but what does this mean practically? This Good calories are those that emanate from nutrient-packed foods and serve as a reservoir of vitamins, minerals and other beneficial nutrients. They can be found in foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, wholesome proteins like fish and poultry, and also the healthy fats found in avocados, nuts and olive oil. On the other hand, bad calories come from foods that are laden with sugar, unhealthy fats and artificial ingredients. These include processed snacks like chips and cookies, sugary drinks, fast food and fried delicacies. However, it's crucial to remember that even foods packed with good calories can become harmful if consumed in excessive quantities. For instance, while almonds are a nutritious snack, devouring an entire package could potentially contribute to weight gain due to the high calorie content. Hence, moderation and balance form the crux of maintaining a healthy diet. It's not simply about avoiding high-calorie foods, but also about managing portion sizes and ensuring a diverse intake of nutrient-rich foods. Let's get excited about nutrition. Remember, it's not just the total number of calories that matter. It's their source that truly makes a difference. Despite the wealth of information available, there are still countless fallacies circulating about calories. It's high time we shattered these myths. Food late at night doesn't necessarily equate to weight gain. It's the type and quantity of the food you ingest that matters. Low-fat or fat-free products are not always the salubrious choice. Moderate amounts of natural healthy fats can be a superior alternative. Always bear in mind, it's not simply about totting up the calories, but making each calorie valuable. Think of nutrient-rich foods that supply the energy you require. Without the deleterious health implications of empty calories, let's erase dieting misconceptions and replace them with accurate knowledge. Ever wondered about the standing of your favorite foods in the good versus bad calorie debate? As we delve into the comparison between some common foods and their calorie content, let's consider an apple versus a chocolate bar. Now, picture an apple. It might seem like just a simple snack, but it's actually packed with vitamins, fiber and natural sugars, making it a source of good calories. On the other hand, imagine a chocolate bar loaded with processed sugars, unhealthy fats and additives, and you'll see it veers into the bad calorie territory. Now let's bring our attention to grains. Visualize whole grains. Yes, you've probably heard they are beneficial for health, and that's correct. Filled with fiber, vitamins and minerals, they are a powerhouse of good calories. But if you choose white bread made from refined grains, You'll see it's essentially a stack of empty, bad calories that could lead to weight gain and health problems. How about a protein showdown? Picture lean proteins like fish, poultry and beans. They are bustling with vital nutrients our bodies need, serving as a rich source of good calories. But when we opt for processed meats like sausages or bacon, imagine a plate of them. We're piling on unhealthy fats, sodium, preservatives, which put them in the bad calorie camp. It's crucial to remember, even foods rich in good calories can tip the scales when overeaten. For nuts, 
Even though they're a fantastic source of good fats, protein and fibre, consuming too many can also ramp up your calorie count, possibly leading to weight gain. Let's bring to mind our saying, choosing the right foods is a balance between taste and nutrition. So, the next time you're reaching for a snack or planning a meal, consider the quality of calories you're providing your body, and not just the quantity. As we delve into what to do post a calorie splurge, know that the solution isn't singular. Rather, it's a three-pronged approach. The first step involves getting our bodies moving. You don't have to push through a grueling marathon or endure a thousand sit-ups. Instead, imagine immersing yourself in a fun activity you love and committing to it. Maybe it's shaking a leg to your, your favourite tune, pedalling away on a bike, diving into a pool, or simply taking a lively stroll in a park. Every bit of physical exertion counts when it comes to torching calories and revving up your metabolism. Moving on to the second solution, intermittent fasting, which presents itself as a viable option even around a busy professional schedule. Caloric deprivation can be a seesaw, with one side symbolizing eating and the other representing fasting. This isn't solely about what you're eating, but rather when you're eating it. Research backs this up, pointing to intermittent fasting as a tool to reduce body fat, enhance insulin sensitivity, and even boost mental acuity. But remember, it's crucial to discuss this with a healthcare expert before diving into fasting. The final piece to the puzzle is hydration. Water can also moderate your calorie consumption. On many occasions, we mistake our body's signal for thirst as a cue to snack, but staying well hydrated keeps these false hunger alarms at bay and ensures a smooth running metabolism. This isn't merely about shedding pounds, it's promoting a healthier way of living. Let's embrace these practices and set sail on our voyage towards improved health and wellness. Keep in mind a healthy outside starts from the inside. Today, we've traversed through the fascinating universe of calories, busting myths and illuminating the truth. In our journey, we analyzed common food items and dispelled widely held misconceptions. We also revealed an array of dynamic strategies to eliminate those unpleasant bad calories. But bear in mind, the purpose of this video is not to educate you, but to grant you the power to make informed decisions about your eating patterns. However, always consult a healthcare professional before making any major changes to your diet, keeping in mind that everyone's health requirements are distinct. If this video was useful to you and expanded your knowledge, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos.